Uh, welcome to Parker Automotive. Um, today I'm working on a 2010 uh, Camry um, SE with a 2.5 motor in it. It had um, cam codes. Hold on a second. I, just, I don't know what cam they were. So I had um, codes PO013, PO15, PO343, PO 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 um, PO368. One of the codes was being caused by uh, a bad connector wire on the intake uh, cam position sensor. Uh, what happened was the customer or whoever the customer got it off of, what they did was because they couldn't get rid of the, the codes, they just started replacing parts. So these are the variable timing sensors for the intake and the exhaust and they replaced them. Uh, this one is for the cam position sensor, the one that I actually, uh, the pigtail was broken, the wire was broken, the connector. Um, they replaced it and they must have thought, you know, there was a problem. Anyway, uh, this is how this works. And I just want to set this up. There is a manifold that goes right here and I'm going to show you in a moment. And it pushes fluid, you know, uh, um, oil through the system to actuate these actuators, right? You know, for them to go. And what happens is, I'm going to grab a light and I'm sure I don't got one. Yep. Okay, so now we're coming over to the motor. This right here is the manifold. This manifold delegates oil pressure for the um, variable timing sensors. In return, it sends fluid into the phasers and those phasers open up on the inside or close however it is that they work. Well, after I was do, I did it, I had pulled the valve cover and I had my assistant uh, crank the motor over so I could see how much pressure was coming out of here. Well, uh, it turns out that there was, is no uh, oil pressure, no fluid at all shooting through here and very little. But after cranking it over, I found that the cam phaser is actually broken. And I don't know if you can see it, but um, it actually, it just broke apart on the inside. So this cap, this piece right here that's missing is somewhere inside the motor. So uh, bottom line is... You can spin it around again if you want. Uh, yeah, it's going to be hard to do all that. I can't. I mean, I zoomed in. Oh, okay. So. I mean, the cam phaser. Yeah, it's a cam phaser. So anyway, and it was broken. So my, my uh, suggestion to the customer would be to just replace the motor. I know a lot of people or people out there say, man, why don't you just do the cam and do the chain and, you know, and then fish out all the little pieces of metal um, out of the moat, out of the bottom end, but uh, you're going a little bit far. You gotta take And off. here's another reason why I looked up the labor on the timing, and it actually gives you more time to do the timing than it does to do a motor. Right, so there you go. So the timing... Because uh, you have to pull out the motor to do the timing. Right, I mean, if that, if, if, if we had to do that, if you, you know. Well, you, uh, it says so. No, I know, so you do technically but you can get away with not doing it. it just takes a lot longer uh but bottom line is right well it is hard because this cover um the timing cover is here so you got to take everything out it is kind of a pain in the butt and it it goes back together a lot nicer if you take it out so that all your gaskets don't leak because of that but if you're cleaning it, it's pretty good anyway so and we might not be able to find all the pieces when i did pull the cam phasers or the um variable times and the VV, VVTIs, you know, variable timing sensors out of there, there was a bunch of residue. Um, metal fragments. Metal fragments. So that could be also caught up in here. So if you did it, you, you number one, you would have to do an oil pump. You would have to pull all the spark plugs and everything, make sure that you don't got no scoring in there. This car has a weird rattle already without the variable timing deal. So it's the motor is compromised so what i'm saying is the, the number one problem with it was a wiring issue there was a wiring issue that was handled but um going further realized that there was a mechanical breakdown um, that's after testing because i don't just replace uh, parts i test all the components and that's when i found they were all good um, I was getting some weird information back, but that's because there was either no oil pressure and the variable timing uh, is the phaser was bad. So 
Uh, but anyway, that being said, thank you for watching Parker Automotive. God bless you. And um, uh, yeah, I was just going to say at the end when I couldn't figure out what the problem was, I started praying to God and then got the epiphany. Hey, pull the valve cover off. And then, uh, then I got the next 50 spin the car over. And that's how I found that that was broken. Um, I just want to say, always pray to God for everything, whether it's good or bad. Um, cause he's there and he's listening in today's, today's world, you know, they're trying to shut God out of us, and we need to start remembering something that Jesus or Yeshua, whoever, however you say his name, he's the only way. And um, I just want to glorify God and thank you for watching. Uh, God bless you, and God bless America.